the rim of a pot. Um, I like to use a needle tool. I've seen some people use wires for this. I think needle tools work really, really well for making a nice, um, evenly cut level rim if you happen to have like a lot of, um, like if you have a high spot and a low spot in your rim, right? So the piece is moving like this as it's turning. Um, using the needle tool can sometimes eliminate problems uh, much more easily than trying to conserve a little bit of clay by applying all kinds of pressure to a relatively thin wall, trying to um, consolidate that extra material into the circle. So needling off the rim is a really useful skill, especially when you're like working at the top of a um, complicated shape, things like that. So I just want to demonstrate a really good method um, for needling off your rim. So to needle off the rim, um, the first most important thing, I think, is to take enough material. So never take less than a quarter of an inch. Um, what will probably happen is the ring will tear and you'll end up with kind of a mess. So always take enough clay. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to take a quarter of an inch. We want to be stable when we're doing this, and the reason for that is you can't have the needle tool moving around um, up and down. You need it to be like pretty still. So I'm going to brace my arms down on my legs like we always do and find that nice stable body position. Feet are flat on the floor. And then we're gonna bridge. Um, so I'm gonna connect. This is my right hand. I hold um, a needle tool like this. I don't hold it like a pencil. I hold it kind of like, like a doorknob, like a fishing pole maybe, like that. Finger out. To control the tip. Then I'm going to connect through to my left thumb. My left uh, elbow is down on my leg here. And then I'm going to touch the pot on the inside of the rim with my middle finger of my left hand. So it's going to look like this. Oh, okay. So I have my right hand holding the needle tool with my first finger extended. Then I'm going to touch the needle tool with the thumb of my left hand and use my middle finger of my left hand to touch the rim. So we're going to be right here. I'm going to turn the wheel on. You really don't want the wheel turning um, too uh, slowly for this because what tends to happen is you move around a little bit and then you end up with another uneven rim. So if the wheel's turning quickly, it's going to eliminate any movement. So I'm bridging across my body. My thumb is touching the tool, and I'm just going to slowly work my way through the wall. This, I'm taking about a quarter of an inch off the wall. You can see I'm taking all the time I need. There's no hurry. I can hang out in the center of this wall indefinitely. Take a deep breath right now while you're halfway through. Gently apply a little bit more pressure until the needle tool touches your inside middle finger. And you can see that I'm actually touching my inside middle finger right now with the needle tool, and nothing's happening. Now I'm going to gently lift. You get a nice rim. Right? There's no kind of residue left behind. It's a nice clean cut. You can just take that. Set it aside, and then just clean up the rim. So I'm going to show you that one more time. Sometimes it's useful actually to wet the inside of the needle tool cut, like this. It'll let your inside finger kind of slip by. Um, but I'm just going to, again, use this hand position, so first finger out first finger out on the needle tool, touch with um, kind of like the ferrule of the tool with my thumb on my left hand, and then my middle finger on my left hand is going to ride the inside of the rim. So now I'm bridged across my body, I'm just going to gently work my way through the wall. Nice and slow. There's no hurry. Now I'm touching the inside, you can actually see the needle tool, see that? And it'll just keep slipping on by, so there's no rush. You can take all the time you need. Now just lift and remove your rim.